Thanks for watching. This is Matt from Dice Around Table. And in this video, I've unboxed and looked at the Hail Caesar Viking Herdman. So this is um, Warlord Games. I actually produce War Games Factory plastics. War Games Factory is uh, an older set that Warlord had bought out and repackages it and sells it. So background, I was looking at this for a project and I was kind of excited with the potential and what's on the back of it. So I was like, you know what, let's give it a try. I've done some War Games Factory um, World War II stuff that was okay, but until this, didn't know what it was gonna be. So let's take a look and I'll show you some sprues and show you what was in the box. The information sheet here, this was in the box, gives you an idea, uh, some information, pictures, came with the water slides. There's a weapon sprue, as well as body and arm sprue with all your markings. This is the weapon sprue. Comes with lots of shields. Actually, let's see if I can that a little better. Yeah. Comes with uh, swords, horn, um, two-handed uh, arms, so you can do two-handed axes, plenty of shields, one pike, plenty of spears, heads, uh, bow, and the bodies. Lots of arms, give you some variety and four bodies that come on this type of base. Overall, you see some other projects. What I was gonna do with these was to get these all set up. But after a while, I've just gotten Bowman really disappointed. There is actually no pictures of Bowman on here or on the back of the box that gives you an idea what the bowmen are going to look like. That's kind of what the bowmen's going to look like. So this is the bowman. The left arm holding the bow looks pretty good. The right arm, very disappointed. Um, I could maybe, if they had arrows, try to notch an arrow across. But the pose just doesn't look great. I wish the arm was more across the body. But really disappointed with the bow position. So i just not even doing anymore. And I actually snapped one bow while trying to get the um, mold lines off. The bodies, I, I have not even finished building this yet it has like a little dagger on the side the belts the chainmail looks great the little pouch on the side looks good the bodies look really good as soon as I put the arms on it just doesn't look right um, trying to match up trying to uh, see how to get the rotation on just doesn't feel right to me and yeah, I just, it does, it's definitely an older model kit. It has the feeling of an older model kit. And because of that, I'm quite kind of, di I'm disappointed in how it goes. Lots of arm options. Looks possible. However, I'm literally probably going to just take this and keep the weapons. The weapon sprue, very happy with, because I can definitely use this on some terrain and build some like weapon racks on this. However, as far as the bodies go, I really do like the body itself, but getting the arms to match up, and I know it's aimed really for rank and file, but I just can't can't pull the trigger and say like yes I will go buy another box of these in fact I'm at a point where I don't even think I'm gonna finish building the 10 like this was 10 finish building the other nine of these 
and I'm just gonna call this kit done and it's not even matching up with what I was hoping for. So that's my thoughts on the Warlord Hail Caesars Viking Herdman. Um, maybe you had a different experience. My experience, I'm, I'm just frustrated and disappointed with how these are looking, especially since there's plenty of other like fantasy medieval kits out there. Uh, I, I, I get, I get it that they bought the War Games Factory molds and they're just reusing those, but definitely could, would like to see um, these be redone if possible at some point. So I'm going to try to look for a different kit for the project I'm looking for. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this uh, helped you out. Take care.